they're not necessarily innovative, they're just... Hi, Andrew, Andrew, in the middle of Times Square on a cold and windy New York night. Wet night, about to see Disney's new musical, Aladdin, at the new Amsterdam Theater. I can't wait to be transported to an arid and dry and magical dusty land of diamonds in the rough. Whenever Walt Disney does something, they do it really big and they do it bold. So I'm looking forward to a big, bold show mm -hmm. in Aladdin. They're not exactly known for breaking the mold or being cutting edge, just doing everything by quality, the book and yeah. quality and good. Yeah. After meeting the cast and creative at the meet and greet, I got genuinely jazzed about the show. Based upon the beloved musical by the same name, Aladdin, but the boy- it, it, Oh, it was a musical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All Disney show shows are musicals. Yeah. yeah, okay. So we'll see you at intermission of Aladdin. The moment I stepped into the theater, it felt like I was entering the world of Walt Disney. The ushers and the ticket takers are wearing wardrobe that you would see at one of the amusement parks. This starts off with a huge bang. There's so many colors on stage, it looks like a Tide commercial for Tide detergent. It's an explosion of colors, explosion of music. After the first number, I didn't know where they were gonna go and if they could ever top that. The opening number, the opening sequence is very winkingly self-knowing. Disney does things very classically while also referencing popular culture. Sure. Like everything from like Dancing with the Stars to YouTube celebrities. I think it's fair to say that they are formulaic. They're not innovative. They're just perfectionists. There's a certain level of quality that is a part of their DNA almost and you see it on yeah. stage. This is tooled for tourists. That being said, just because you live in New York doesn't mean you should deny yourself this the pleasure of this show. James Monroe Iggleheart, I'm, we're just gonna guess at the pronunciation. I have no idea how you can top that number. Half the audience was standing, it was an amazing number. Oh, it did it something. It went on they... and on and on, it was so much fun. Can't wait to see what they do with act two. I hope they can top it though, that's what I'm scared of. We'll see you after the second act of Aladdin at the New Amsterdam Theater. The Lion King invented its own new language. This emulates the magic of animation and it doesn't miss the mark at all. First off, I want to say congratulations to Bob Crowley, Greg Barnes, and Natasha Katz for lighting, costumes, and sets. Mm. Spared no expense and were all over the top. That might seem like a, like a backhanded compliment, but Disney is all about decor. This is nothing short of a major spectacle. It's like going to a theme park ride. Mm -hmm. The two main uh, showstoppers are, you've got a friend in me in the first act, mm -hmm. and a part of your world in the second act. Those two numbers alone are worth going to see this. It's, I didn't think that they could top the first one. That they did. But Hello Magic Carpet Ride, unreal. I really wanted not to like this. I really, really? wanted to be a curmudgeon and be like, oh, that's not musical like theater. Those two but you know what? I was sold, I had a great time. We I drank the purple genie Kool-Aid. I have tried to resist, but I cannot. Mm -mm. Know what you're getting into, it's manipulative, it's formulaic, it's exactly what you think would come from a Disney musical. At the same time, it's highly entertaining. Uh, two green lights for Aladdin, the new musical by Disney at the new Amsterdam Theater. I love how you keep saying by Disney, it's like Walt's still like alive somewhere. It is so Disney. It probably is.